Self-destruct sequence activated. Hey guys, Josh here bringing you another Sweet Tooth video for you guys today. Now today, we got something. I got something right here. I've been holding on this one for a while. I got the aluminum uh, servo arm and also I even got the desk right here now also before we actually get into the video right here and start working on this right here i want to go ahead and thank every single one of you for supporting this channel i really appreciate it it's really i really like that it's special to my heart and also i hope you guys are doing real great to, great today um when i had to find out i actually got these and thank god because i've been waiting for these for a while now, also, I even got the uh, stuff, the material for the body going to be coming. So, that's going to be coming pretty soon. And I hope you guys actually like the video of the van saw, too. So, um, so pretty soon we're going to be doing that. So, here's what that looks like. And here's the desk brakes. Now, these are excellent. I really like these right here a lot. They're blue. Um... They're a little bit different than the ones that I used to have. Uh, it does have in, uh, instructions. So I'm kind of just looking at some stuff right now. So it looks like... Do I have to drill a hole? Yes, I probably do. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get this right here prepped, and we will get started. Okay, we're going to do the uh, arm first, which is this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the bag for a minute. The reason why I like this one here, because this one is metal. That's why I like it. This one's a little bit. That arm, that arm is free. Now I'll grab a undo this. Set the screw right there and pop that off. Yeah, this is the one I had on here. Compared to this one and this one, this one's a little bit more stronger than I actually do trust. So, I'm going to go ahead, pop this into place. And tighten it up. Oh, wrong one. my Allen wrench. There. That one is all done. Upgrade done. So this I will not need. I'll go ahead and put that in the junk drawer for a backup. Now we can go ahead and get started on the brakes. Now, basically, I'm going to go ahead and open them up and see what we are See what we got here. Okay, they do have uh, four. Okay, that's great. Don't have to worry about that. All right. What I'll need is from this, is this, is this, and this, and this, and these four right here. If I do need these here, I will use them, but I will not use them right now as is. So I'll go ahead and put these up. Now it does come with these right here. And these I will not be using. I'll just have these for backup. Because I'll just go ahead and just use the ones I have right now. So. Let's go ahead and get this cracked open. 
Some scissors here. Oh wow. All right, you hear that you guys? This is metal, not plastic. Oh, and these are metal too. Whoop. Fell off. Fell off and almost went on the floor. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna show you them. Just need to get these open. Yeah, so here's the two back ones and the two front ones. Looking just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these here together. That way they... Okay, these are the back ones. These are the front ones. So two of them over there. Two of these over here. And then I'll... Let's see here. Which is which? Oh, this one. Go ahead and put these in. Ah, that one's too big. Oh, let's see. From the Terminator. Yep, yep, that'll work. Yeah, I have to use the Allen key from my uh, Terminator build. There, that way it's barely coming out. But, get these prepped, and then I'll go ahead and figure out where I'm going to drill the holes. Okay, now I gotta see how I can get this out for a minute. Okay, you guys, that took a little bit of me figuring out of what I need to do. So, here's what I had to do. I'm gonna go ahead and show you with one, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the back, which I don't, there's no reason for me to do the back. But, because the back looks like this. So, here's what I've done to this side. I'll go ahead and flip it, this onto this side so you guys can see. Now, what I had to do is I had to go ahead and take this off right here. underneath here I wish I can get you guys on a better angle that way you guys can see or like a point of view okay now I got these right here set take this off use this right here to push this through then put this back on right here. Sometimes I did this, it did this to me. I, um, it almost got away from me that time. And tighten it down, that way it won't move again. Flip this on the other side. And tighten it down here.
Okay, now we got that part together. I'm gonna go ahead and move this right here. That way you guys can see a little bit more. Move this junk out of my way. Now what we gotta do is I gotta fit this part onto here, but I will need the washers that it comes with right there. Now also, before I even did anything, before I even tighten it down and all that, I need to I'll loosen this. Tighten this down a little bit to leave a mark. That came out a little bit, so I'll just push this back down. There. Now with my hefty drill, I'll go ahead, because there is a mark right here where you guys can then probably not see, but there is a mark right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that mark, drill a little hole, There we go. Now I'll set that down because I don't need it no more. Now, this is the one part that gets a little bit tricky. I need about I need this pen. That I don't need this, I do need, and this I do need. So Let's go ahead, I put this in through here, like so. Push this through, but now I did a test fit. I need to push this in through here like that. Now because I can actually see that little pin right there, that little hole for the pin, I need my neon nose right here. This is the smallest one I got, so. This is the one part that gets a little bit tricky. There we go. Now it's through. Now I'll just use my little screwdriver. Put that through, hold that into place, and find the hole that I drilled for this. There it is. And screw this down right here so it will not move again. I don't want to tighten it down too much to where it will not come out. And to hold this into place that way it will not go anywhere. I want to go ahead and get my bolt. Hold this. And tighten it down. As a matter of fact, I kind of see it's a little bit... It's a little bit crooked right there, so I'm going to have to undo it. Flatten this up a little. Let's see, I'll just take this out. this down more that's what I'll do there we go now I got that into place 
Now I just need to find where the hole is not exactly onto the mark. So I need my hefty drill again and drill a hole. Right into there. Find that right in there. And screw this down again. And it should be all set. Perfect. Now those are on. Let's see if they spin. Um, if I can actually get to the axle to spin it. There we go. I'll just spin like this. There we go. Now it's spinning. Now for the back side. Um, I don't know what to do with the back side because the back side does not really have real much. I mean, it doesn't really, I don't think it really needs them. But this I might have to take apart. Let me take a look at this off screen. Okay, guys, I've been messing with the back end for a little while now, so, and my solution is this. Um, for me to be able to use these, I'll have to grind this off right here, this little lip off right here, and have to put this in right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grind this off off camera and see what I can do. Well guys, um, me kind of grinding it with my grinder did not exactly work out as best. I kind of destroyed it. So what I'm planning on doing is this. Um, because I really do want to use these disc brakes, but... I mean, even when they're like this, I mean, it does, I mean, I'm not going to really see them, but, I mean, that's the best way I could do is grind these off, but I kind of destroyed it, so that is going to have to go in the garbage that I won't be able to use, so here's what I'm just going to have to do. Um, instead of me using... Using it looking like this, it'll have to be like this. So, oh well, I'm uh, not exactly worried about it. As long as it's functional, that's the one thing I care about right now. As long as it's functional, that's it. That's all I care about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put all these spare parts in here. Oh, I'm so disappointed. That did not work out as best as I thought. I'm very disappointed. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these in through here like this. And push this through in here, like so. Um, that's not going to work.
we go. Now that snapped into place. And I'll go ahead and tighten this up. Right here. Well, that didn't kind of work out as I thought, but, well, at least they are functional. That's the only thing I care about right now, as long as they're functional. That's the only thing I care about. Now they're on. Well, that one's on. I'll go ahead and finish up on the other side right here. I'm very disappointed. I can always order more and get them again. There we go. Hold this right on here. There. And there we have it. We actually got disc brakes onto this. But before I actually end this video, I want to go ahead and actually install... The tires now as you guys probably know that I got these tires for a reason one it looks so much slimmer like the one from the game that's why two is the reason why is I can always uh, make these look all rusty a little bit I can always take the wheels off and paint them a little bit to make them look like they are rusted so that's what I can do so I'll go ahead and install the wheels. I'm still waiting on the motor to come in. I don't know when that's going to come in. Hopefully it will be here pretty soon. Hopefully it will not take so long to get here. I ordered it from Hobby King. It should be here pretty soon. Tomorrow is Sunday, so I will not get any mail unless they exactly deliver it on Sunday, which I don't think they will. This is much faster right here. Now these ones should be no problem. And go ahead, do the last one. And this should be done.
Doesn't want to go in. There it goes. All right, now I kind of got these this thing on the rolling chassis. It does not want to move for some reason. So I'm going to check, see if there's some that came off. Hmm. Okay, guys, that took a little time for me to actually figure out what was going on. I actually did figure out what was it. Um, this right here, you see that little cut right there? That pin was catching onto it and not making it, and just catching it and not wanting it to turn. So after I took it off, after I took it off, and it actually, here, I'll let you guys see. It actually rolls a lot smoother now. So, I'm actually real great that it actually got that to work. Those actually work now. This is now on the rolling chassis. Now, pretty soon we'll be able to test this. I just hope it's going to be pretty soon until I get the motor. But until I get the motor, I won't be able to do it. But, I did happen to find something that I think I want to teach you guys with. I want to put this... It's not exactly on the game. I don't see it on the game. But I found a nice chrome exhaust tip. See right there? I found a nice chrome exhaust tip that I'm going to put on. I don't have parts of the bar right now, so that kind of stinks. But, I mean, I mean, here's the directions that they actually sent me. And basically, I was going through it, I was reading it, and I was doing it, what they want me to do. But, these grooves, these little notches that's right here, that there will catch it, and it will not move it. So, yeah. That, I will not be using. So, I will not be using them. So, I'm not going to have to worry about ordering them right now on this trash so hope you guys like this video and uh don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and this is starting to look like it starting to get there now also once i get the uh motor the motor will be next and then pretty soon we'll have everything connected up connected up so hopefully We'll get everything back on it. This is on here now. So that's on. This is all set up. This is set up. So once we get the motor into place and put the motor in, we'll be able to test it. So hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button. And also... Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and do this kind of project yourself, but I'm kind of using this right here as my own. I mean, I'm, I mean, this is not what exactly what I plan on using, but I want to find something that has more uh, stability right there for when I go off-road like he does in the game. And also when he jumps, it will uh, spring back into place. So I uh, hope you guys like the video and, uh, Catch you guys next time, and next time will be the body and also the motor and pretty soon paint. So, uh, catch you guys next time.